This thing is such a freaking scam. I can't get over it. Oh my God, you have to be kidding me. Wait, wait, did I not get the mega? Did that not count? What's up guys and welcome back to the coin game where once again today I'm going to be spending my uncle's entire life savings in the hopes of winning enough tickets to be able to buy a paddle ball, a whoopee cushion, and two army men. We're really shooting for the stars here. Now I know a few days have passed, but it's still my birthday. Okay, when all of your guests are four foot tall vibrators with hats, you can party for however long you want to. <laughs> and this birthday girl's Canadian ears are being led towards the hockey hut. Yes, please. <laughs> I was born for this. I came prepared for this. What's this game all about, Maple Moose? Is there some kind of syrup and hockey goals to be scored? So oh, I've never seen anything like this. It looks like we have 30 seconds and four shots to sink as many pucks as possible. Okay, interesting. Oh, and we even have letters. We got C, O, K, cock? Hockey, why would I assume cock? <laughs> okay, we want to spell hockey for the jackpot. I can do that, wait a second. How am I supposed to spell hockey six letters with four shots? What kind of Wayne Gretzky shenanigans is this? <laughs> There's no way I get nothing but little limp dick shots. 140 tickets is fine and stuff, but Oh, the letters carry over. We have incentive to keep playing. Good, I needed to piss away a lot of money. Give me an H. Oh, baby, that's the stuff. And a couple bonus tickets, all right. This is such a weird game to get the hang of. You know what? I, got, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta get that jackpot, okay? Because this is my heritage, 250, thank you. I think when I bury a letter, it opens the penalty box, and then it kind of brings everything out of the center of the rink, which really helps. So we need an O and a K. Uh, where would they be? Come on, it's knuckle puck time. You need to shoot way before you think you should. Oh, baby. I'm waiting for one of these jackpots to be just insane. Like, Thousands upon thousands of tickets, and for this to be that insanity would be so good. Oh, 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 here's the K. Uh, uh. Yes! 2,000 tickets? That's not bad. I feel really good about that. Okay, we're cashing out. Thank you very much. Now, I do plan on going outside and exploring the rest of the weird locations in this game, but a lot of you guys told me in the comments that you really enjoy these coin pusher games, and if I get the jackpot, it's gonna be nuts. So we're gonna try cuckoo coins. Cuck double O coins. Yeah, we'll, we'll try whatever this is. One dollar, 20 plays, can't complain. And this, this looks identical to Dunko. This is just Dunko with a rebrand. It sounds like it's playing the kindergarten main menu theme song. Am I losing my mind? I'm not losing my mind. Royalty free music, man. This is just a reskin of Dunko, right? Except this time we have to spell our coins using a whole lot of luck. Man, I hate the luck based games. Don't get me wrong, okay? Most of these games do not require skill. It's pretty much a casino for kids, like I said. But at the same time, I would love to be able to have a little bit of input into winning. Okay. Uh, how many do we have left? Can I, can I get a C? And I get a, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't play me like that, Don't, oh, <laughs> I keep getting it. I just need to get the timing down. We'll drop it on the I, no, okay. Drop it on the N, go, 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 yes! Give me a jackpot, for the love of God. Really? I know that's supposed to come off as a reward, but it just feels like you're stomping on my cuckoo. 
I never played a lot of coin pushers growing up, but I'm definitely seeing the attraction and I've never seen the bonus before. I am noticing that these coins are pushing rewards towards me. I think I already got a fidget spinner, maybe. I could get a $5 bill. I would love that S right about now. Oh, 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 yeah, $5 bill, thank you. This is the S. Okay, we're, tr we're tuned in on the S. We just need to time it. Time it on the I, maybe? Oh, yeah, come on, come on. Come on! You gotta be kidding me! Oh, I get to keep going on the same dollar. Interesting. Okay, so if we can use these 14 credits to do even better, I'm getting some of these coins back. This seems like a pretty decent deal. I feel like if I took my time and commentated less, I would actually be able to nail all of these timings. <laughs> But I'm spending way more time trying to be entertaining and way less time trying to win. But at the same time, I'd love I'd love to win. Okay, we're honed in on the eye. We can get it every time. But what did I win? Did you get a lighter? Why are there lighters in arcades? That doesn't sound very safe. Yeah, there we go. Give me something. Give me... This is ridiculous. It keeps giving me absolute bubkiss for rewards. They absolutely are handing out lighters and pocket knives with fidget spinners. Okay, 250 tickets, not bad. Still not what I'm going for though. I don't know what the bonus is, but I want it. Come on, prize wheel, do me some justice here. Unbelievable. I also don't know why it says spins left and ticket multiplier because I've been getting plenty of spins and plenty of tickets, but it's always zero. We definitely had less than $69 when we started playing this and now we have a fistful of tickets. So I think I'm gonna walk away satisfied and try something like the mega drop. Mega jackpot 5,500 tickets, huh? Yeah, I could use 5,500 tickets. What's all this about? Drop balls, huh? Uh, oh, okay, that, that's, that's a ball that I dropped. And it's another luck-based one and I got the, the jackpot. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, there is an easy, wait, 2,400? What, this is, oh, that's the mega jackpot. I only got the baby jackpot. Well, screw that. We clearly need to go for the mega jackpot. Sink it. How does this work? I just dropped the balls. They even screwed up the font here. Didn't come here for any little wuss puss jackpots, okay? I need my mega jackpot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it bounced clean off it. Ooh, what's that one with the red rim? I can't even read this stuff. It's spinning around too quick. Ooh, ooh, I got a uh, mystery bonus mode. 476 tickets. That's not too bad. That'll definitely get me a few sticks of gum. Let's go again. Come on, make a, make a jackpot, make a jackpot. <laughs> it's just gonna go straight in there and I'm not even gonna realize another mystery win. Are you kidding me right now? I can't really complain. It's just drowning me in tickets. <laughs> Oh, I did it again. Oh, the jackpot's only 219 tickets this time. Right, you need to rip off a couple dozen people to build up your profits before you go and give away another jackpot all willy nilly. Oh, 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 why do those ones have giant rims on them? That's bogus, I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate that. Add bonus ball. Okay, I'll take some more balls. Make it even easier for me to sink this mega jackpot. I, I, I don't want to play these uninteractive games, but at the same time, I want the mega jackpot. This thing is such a freaking scam. I can't get over it. Oh my God, you have to be kidding me. Wait, wait, did I not get the mega? Did that not count? It went in the mega jackpot, right? I'm not losing my mind. I was going to say, I give this credit for its engineering because it is a very clever little piece of machinery, right? The ball always ends up in some hole 
Just imagine how easy it would be to drop a ball and have it just spin around there endlessly. But now I'm starting to think that it actually is a total piece of crap because I got the mega jackpot and it didn't credit me. That does not look like 5,000 tickets to me, Mega Drop, and it still says that you have exactly 5,523 left. <laughs> I can't believe I got ripped off. Oh my god. Okay, fine. We'll go explore the rest of the neighborhood, but I'm not bringing all this with me because God knows I'll get mugged. So we'll just drop you all in here. Give me all my tickets. What the hell? There is absolutely no way I have won 34,000 tickets in the time that I've been playing. I only played three games. Last episode, I played twice that many for twice as long, and I only got 3,000 tickets. <laughs> so I guess the mega jackpot is just super busted right now, but that means I finally hey, get. Yo, switch Uncle Phil though, and you tell him I said thanks. Yeah, yeah, I, I, sure, buddy. Okay, j shut up. I need to get my ultimate hey, get reward. Where, where is he? Where? Here he is. Give me rest, a banana. <laughs> How do I get him? There we go. Oh, hey. That doesn't count as a present. I earned this. Can I maybe have my baked banana now? Like I worked really hard to earn that. <laughs> It's getting dirty on your gross little floor. Actually, your floors are probably incredibly clean. I can imagine you guys have vacuums for bum holes. Let me just come over the counter and there we go. Can I just take whatever I want from back here, I wonder? Oh yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of kids that are trying to win a salt lamp. What are you on? Okay, so we got a reward. We cashed in all our tickets. We should be good to go outside and explore the rest of this place. I got $58, and I should be able to buy a bus ticket for that much. And of course, I just missed the bus. That's just my luck. <laughs> Maybe I don't really need a bus ticket. Like, I, I can just save my money and run down the road. It looks like there's a couple of places down here. I don't know if there are invisible walls anywhere because I don't expect to be able to go anywhere in this game. Watch where you're going, you lunatic. Like this was supposed to be just an arcade simulator that you screw around with. I didn't expect there to be a pawn shop. Okay. Barry's Pawn Shop. Cash advance, loans, swap. Check caching. Okay. Please use other door. Thanks, Barry. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Barry's pawn and swap. We buy anything. Automatic pawn and swap. Insert the goods and then press the button. This is not a restroom. Again, anything can be a restroom if you try hard enough. Wait, 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 wait. So we can use our money to win tickets, to buy prizes, and then sell those prizes for even more money and just get rich through the arcades? <laughs> I really don't want to sell Baked Banana. Okay, he was the entire objective of this episode. So maybe I can sell one of these crumpled up lottery tickets that I found in the dumpster behind the arcade. Yeah, you totally want this, right? Just drop that in there. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Use lottery ticket. 50 cents. Did they trash it? <laughs> I think he just gave me 50 cents for recycling it. But would you look at that? One of the tickets that I found wasn't actually scratched off, and I can scratch it off. This game is just never-ending surprises. Reveal three boats, win a special prize. Reveal three matching symbols to win the money prize. Okay, uh... How many scratches do I get? Ooh. Ooh, can I get another 25? Can I get another 25? You win $25! Sweet! And they automatically give me the money somehow, and then I can recycle you. And get another 50 cents, I would assume. Not bad at all. I am going to have to work this arcade and just make a ton of money. I don't suppose Barry missed something in his dumpster, did he? Ooh, that's a perfectly good Mountain Dew. And a scratch-off ticket. How about we scratch it right here? 
We need to get three fires. Okay. Um, come on. Ooh, I got water. $2.50. Seems like I'm always getting some kind of win. Yeah, I'll take that. I can recycle that later. Anything else in here? I'm literally scrounging through the garbage for stuff to sell to a pawn shop. <laughs> Where did the arcade gameplay go? There's no way I can get in all of these buildings, right? Because there's like an entire city out here. We have Stan O's Doggy Bones World Headquarters. Even if I could get in there, I'm just not interested. <laughs> really don't need to go to a dog bone factory. We have, oh, the gas and go. This might actually be useful. Or you can buy stuff at a gas station. Maybe I can buy stuff for cheap here and then sell it for more at berries down the road. Jerry's Gas and Go scratch off Lotto food, soda, and gas. Oh. I can buy lottery tickets here. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, I'm gonna piss away so much money. Yeah, let's get a, a couple of the boats. You know what? If I'm gonna win all of the arcade games, I'm probably gonna want to win all of these as well. Boat loads of cash coming my way. Ooh, we got a $100 fish. Two $100 fish. Another hundred dollar fish. Give me another hundred dollar fish. Yes. You see, we're already making profits. Gambling can be all fun and games until you win a couple more hundred dollar fish. But I feel the need to point out right now that this is a video game. You know, it's all fun and games. I'm not actually going to lose anything. So don't gamble, no matter how old you are, unless you can afford to lose. Just assume that you're spending that money on fun. Say, for instance, it's your 18th birthday and you're having a bit of a boring party, so you leave and go down the road in the middle of the night to win yourself some hot fire or to win nothing at all. Actually, you're just gonna lose everything. I, I lost like $120 in a few minutes. Hey, Barry, I know you're back there. You are not gonna believe the night that I had. I, I was up, you know, I won the mega jackpot. I was down, I found a lottery vending machine. <laughs> it's just been a roller coaster of emotions and I would love to top it all off with a bag of cheesy poops. So if you think you could just give me a wooden nickel for all this, I would really appreciate it. What do I got? Uh, well, that's not too bad. That might be a couple dollars. Yeah, there we go, our first bill. You know what would be a hilarious addition to this game? If they just put a strange dude wearing dark clothing that chases you in the night. <laughs> have no idea what he would do. Maybe nothing. Maybe just give you a hug or ask for the time or something like that. But then it would encourage you to pay for the bus. <laughs> rather than just sprint everywhere and edit it out. <laughs> I really... Actually, you know what? I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they did that. Because they have added a lot more to this game than I would have ever imagined. Are there any games that we haven't played yet? Uh, like the ski ball, but I, I can't imagine video game ski ball is all that good. Uh, oh, there's this one. The Dizzy Bird. What the hell is Dizzy Bird? How to play. Find the green light. Press and hold to release the whack the ball. Oh, okay then. So the green light is right there. So we would want to do something like that, I guess. I don't know. Oh, oh, no, that, that's way too far. That's to the top. Ten tickets. All right, Dizzy Bird. You know what? You're a bit of a stupid game, and I have no money left. So you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of The Coin Game, guys. The first episode did way better than I would have expected, which is great because I really enjoyed it. I was really proud of the video, and I was hoping that it would be well-received, and it was. So if you guys want to see another one, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know, and I'm thinking next episode, we're just going to go for broke. We're going to get all the mega jackpots, sell all the prizes, make all the money, build our own arcade. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.